There are different mediums that humans use to communicate with each other and with the outside world. Among them, one important method is music, by which individuals express their emotions and exchange information. The interaction in music between China and its neighbors started at a very early date, and foreign musical instruments were introduced, including pipa, lute, from India, and Central Asia, by the Silk Road. Horsehair bowed fiddle Hu Ching, the predecessor of the Urhu, from Northern Tribe, and Yang Ching, dulcimer, from ancient Persia, by the Sea Route. In year 1601, Western music formally landed in China, when the Italian missionary, Matteo Ricci, presented the Ming Emperor, Wan Li, a clavichord as a gift. Four eunuchs were ordered to learn to play the instrument. After they toyed with it for some time, the instrument was put away in a box. The clavichord was rediscovered by the last emperor of Ming. He even studied from a German Jesuit about the working principle of the instrument. During the Qing dynasty, influenced by prominent Jesuit missionaries, Emperor Kangxi and Emperor Qianlong were said to be the most interested in Western classical music, among all emperors. Emperor Kangxi adapted Taoist prayers to harpsichord music, and Emperor Qianlong organized an orchestra of 18 eunuchs with Western-style suits and wigs. After a series of political changes in China in the mid-20th century, a movement of self-improvement started. Students were sent abroad to learn the most advanced knowledge in Western countries. And as a part of the movement, Western-style modern school systems were established. The schools became an important channel to bring Western music into China, in addition to Christian missionaries. In the late 19th century, Western music made its first inroads outside the imperial court, through military and municipal bands, and schools. Symphony orchestras appeared in major cities. In year 1919, the first orchestra was formed in Shanghai. Initially, its members were exclusively foreigners, later, Chinese were also absorbed. In 1927, Shanghai Conservatory of Music, the first higher education institution under the Western Conservatory system, was established. Although, Western music came to China four centuries ago, it has only begun to have a profound impact on Chinese music in the past century. It is reported that four-fifths of 50 million children learning piano worldwide today are Chinese. That is, 40 million. If you walk through allies in a city in China, you can always heard the sound of piano. At present, Shanghai alone has more than 2,700 music schools. The Sichuan Conservatory of Music, one of China's largest conservatories, now has over 16,000 students. By contrast, the Juilliard School in New York City has around 850. Western music has a deep influence on Chinese music, but the influence is not unilateral. Instead, it is bilateral. Many Western musicians and composers have drawn inspiration from Chinese music. The most well-known case is the play Torando by Giacomo Puccini. The opera version of the story is set in China, where a prince named Kalaf falls in love with the cold Chinese princess Torando. To get the permission to marry the princess, a suitor has to answer three riddles, any wrong answer results death. Kalaf solves all riddles, but Torando refuses to marry him. So Kalaf offers her a way out. If the princess is able to learn his name before the dawn, then he will die at the daybreak. Not only the story itself is set in China, despite all the historical inaccuracies. Eight of the theme songs in Torando are based on traditional Chinese music and tunes, including the most famous aria, Nessun Dorma, or, none shall sleep. The melody of jasmine flower, Mo Li Hoa in Chinese, is included as a motif for the princess.
In fact, Puccini has never been to China, and his encounter with the Chinese music was very fortuitous. In the early 1800s, Jean-Frederick Bovet, a Swiss watchmaker, together with his son Frederick, was doing watch business in China. They spent a lot of time collecting traditional Chinese folk songs. The family later decided to put these songs in music boxes and sell them in China. In the early 1900s, an Italian baron and a veteran of the Boxer Rebellion, Eduardo Fassini Camassi, acquired one of these music boxes and took it back to Italy. In 1920, when Puccini was composing Torando, he visited the Baron's home and heard the songs from the music box, including the song Jasmine Flower. In another famous opera by Puccini, Madun Butterfly, the theme song is marked with Shi Pa Mo, whose original name should be Shi Ba Mo, or The 18 Touches. The 18 Touches is an erotic song that is often banned, as the song was performed in a man's voice, celebrating 18 parts of a woman's body in explicit detail. In the past three centuries, besides Puccini, many Western musicians and composers have introduced Chinese music and Chinese culture to the Western audiences, including the German composer Karl Maria von Weber, who wrote the Chinese overture for Torando, Harry Parch, who composed 17 lyrics of Li Po, based on translations of the Chinese poetry of Li Bai, and Henry Cowell, whose composition, Music of Changes, was inspired by the Chinese literature, Book of Changes, I Ching.